Hello there, I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep. Today we're going to delve into the fascinating world of the bathtub curve. This curve is an essential tool for maintenance and operations teams, helping us understand and predict the failure rate of a product or a group of products over time. We'll discuss the three stages of an asset's lifetime and how to manage each effectively. By the end of this video, you'll be able to use the bathtub curve to predict failures and extend an asset's useful life. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. The bathtub curve is a visual representation of the failure rate of a product or group of products over time. It's like a map, plotting the occurrences of failure and showing us three periods that an asset experiences within its lifetime. First up, we have the infant mortality period, also known as the early failure period. This period begins when a product is used for the first time. It's characterized by a decreasing failure rate, starting from a high failure occurrence, quickly decreasing to a lower failure rate, and then plateauing. Failures that occur within this time are usually driven by manufacturing defects or installation issues, but they could also be due to design flaws or improper startup procedures. Next, we enter the normal life period. This is when the failure rate levels out after the initial operation period. It's also known as the useful life period, and this is when operators expect assets to have a relatively constant failure rate. Most assets will spend the majority of their operational life in this state. Here's a tip for you. To better predict failures throughout the life cycle of an asset, Use sensors or other predictive analysis tools in combination with your computerized maintenance management system. And finally, we reach the wearout period. This is when assets naturally deteriorate over time. The number of failure occurrences that an asset experiences predictably increases after a certain usage period. The bathtub curve slopes sharply upward as failure rates increase quickly before the end of an asset life cycle, eventually leading to the total failure of an asset. Now you might be wondering, how can we use the bathtub curve? Well, it sets expectations for how an asset typically performs over its life cycle. Each period along the curve suggests specific strategies to teams working to extend an asset's useful life. For example, while failure events in the normal period are primarily due to random events, breakdowns close to the wear out period become more predictable. Based on the age and performance of an asset, certain predictive maintenance techniques can catch failures before they occur. This is especially beneficial to teams when assets fall in the regions of the curve with higher failure rates. And that brings us to the end of our video. Thank you for watching. We've explored the bathtub curve, its three stages, the infant mortality period, the normal life period, and the wear out period, and how understanding these can help predict failures and extend an asset's useful life. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. For more tools and resources to help your maintenance and operations teams be more successful, visit us at upkeep.com.